on YouTube. Be sure to check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com for plenty more Royal Caribbean news, information, fun, advice, everything you need to have a great Royal Caribbean cruise. It's waiting for you at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Happy Monday, everybody. Every Monday, we are here live on YouTube, hanging out with you, talking Royal Caribbean. And we're going to start today's live broadcast. We're going to get a lot of questions. We're going to start today's live broadcast with the most important question. How many days until your next Royal Caribbean cruise? Type your count down in chat. I have no idea. I just got back off Mariner of the Seas today. Uh, I believe my next countdown, I'm going on November uh, something. So uh, mid-November, uh, Odyssey of the Seas, whatever that works itself out to. Betty Eakin, thank you for the super chat off the bat. Look at that. Um, got a super chat from Betty. Pair character cheerfully blowing a party horn. Uh, wait, I have a party horn. I think it's this. Uh, I don't know which one it is. But anyway, thank you for the party horn and thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you, Betty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad to have everybody joining us here on this uh, Monday. Of course, as I mentioned, we just got off Mariner of the Seas today. Not happy about that, but we're back home. It was a short drive home. So, but it was it was a lovely weekend on Mariner of the Seas. So it was nice doing that. So, Sub Zippo has got a first question of today. And by the way, you can type your questions in chat. We'll answer as many as we can. When traveling from Florida through the Bahamas, how does the vaccine verification work? Do I show NASA my card? Or does Royal Caribbean do it? Forward it to them. I believe Royal Caribbean takes care of everything, Sub Zippo. So when you obviously check in for your cruise, you'll show proof of vaccination, and then you're good to go. The the Bahamas doesn't come knocking on your door or anything like that. You're 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 in the clear at that point. So it's an excellent question. Uh, let's see here. Next question is going to be coming from. Uh, this question, I don't know the answer to this. Well, actually, no, I do have one. Uh, sorry, I do know the answer. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking about it. I haven't answered this question in a long time. Hey, Herrera wants to know recommendations for a hotel close to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Um, I've always stayed, two times I've done this, two times I've stayed at the Sheridan in Old San Juan. <clears throat> it is right downtown. It is super convenient. You walk out of your hotel, you're in Old San Juan. It is great to uh, be able to explore Old San Juan. And then the next morning, you take a taxi to the port. Um, so that's definitely my recommendation uh, there. Mr. Josh Carruthers, my partner in tequila, thank you for the epic super chat. Woo! 25 days till freedom of the seas, back to back extravaganza. Still room for you, Matt. You know, I think my dance card, I would love to, first and foremost, but uh, my dance card is looking a little full for the rest of this year, man. I'm a uh, it's a good problem to have. After last year, I'm starting to like, man, I got not, I, there's no such thing as too many cruises booked. But I have enough cruises that I can still remain married to my wife and she will still let me in the house situation. So, hey, Garrett with a question. Go on a navigator these 49 days. What are the top things to do first? Windjammer. Go eat lunch over there. What food to eat that is complimentary to eat pizza? Well, you can certainly get pizza, but Windjammer is the place to go. Everyone usually goes there for their embarkation day lunch. It's a great spot right there. Uh, SH, what is the tastiest sandwich on an Oasis class ship? Arguable, but I'm going to say... The Kemelwick sandwich at Park Cafe is finger licking good, to borrow a phrase from a fast food chain that has nothing to do with roast beef sandwiches. Uh, it is that good. Uh, Tyler wants to know, what is my favorite class of ship and why? You know, I, there, Tyler, I've always said this. I always feel that there's the Oasis class and there's everything else. Um, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that I really do love the Oasis class ships. I am a big ship kind of guy, just like Rich Triplett. Uh, and so I'm going with the Oasis class. Quite frankly, uh, just a quick three nighter. Yeah, it was a Mariner of the Seas. This is this is like hashtag living in Florida. Uh, get on the cruise ship on Friday, take the kids, come back on Monday. Kids go into school, no missed days of school. Weekending in the Bahamas, really uh, the way to go, right there. Love it, Brian Booth with a super chat. Thank you, Brian. How many kids have you seen on board post COVID? Can my kids be turned away from adventure due to capacity restrictions? Six days to alert. Yes, they, I'm going to answer the second part of your question. Could your kids be turned away from Adventure Ocean due to capacity? Yes. Brian, tomorrow, assuming there's not like major news that's going to spoil it, uh, tomorrow I have a blog post up about what it's like to cruise with kids who are unvaccinated on a cruise. I actually just did this cruise with my kids. Yes, there is limited capacity to Adventure Ocean. So yes, you could possibly be turned away from there. Um, but if you register on the first day of the cruise, you should have no issues uh, in terms of getting a session. Um, I didn't have any actually on my cruise. Um, but in terms of kids on board, I mean, there's been a number of them actually, and enough on some sailings that Adventure Ocean was, you know, reached capacity. So it's not unheard of by any means. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of kids cruising. Um, you know, Royal Caribbean dedicated to that family brand. Hey, Rich O from MEI Travel. What's up, Rich? Are you planning to go on a Star Cruiser cruise? No, I, I've, I've, listen, Rich, 
Uh, friends don't let friends drop way too much money on a lame idea at Disney World, okay? Uh, it looks cool. It's not worth the cost. Heck no. Never again. Uh, they had enough of my money. No, I'm, I'm done with them and their ridiculous pricing. But, uh, Rich, I hope we get a chance to go on a cruise together. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I have a strong opinion on the matter, as you might be able to tell. David, do you know how long it takes Royal Caribbean to credit your sea days after you sail? Is there any way to expedite it? Moving from uh, Emerald to Diamond. There's not any way to expedite it per se. David, it usually takes about a week or two. No more than two weeks. No, Usually no shorter than one week. And um, But it'll appear in there. If you were doing like a back-to-back -back cruise and you wanted to move up, obviously that'd be important. You talk to the loyalty ambassador if you're doing a cruise uh, within the um, that time frame. Stephanie, we had the key packages canceled with no explanation. They decided to cancel the key on Harmony until November. Any ideas? Yeah, they just don't need to offer it. Um, they've been they've been canceling the key, Stephanie, all the way up until really this point. Um, they haven't been offering it. So what it's really a reflection of is that they can't offer you the the. There, there's no benefit for them offering it to you. Thus, they're not going to do it. They are slowly starting to bring the key back. Uh, Symphony Disease has it. But, you know, Stephanie, when cruise ships restart operations, especially here in the U.S., they tend to start with a very low capacity and move up from there. So the fact your key is canceled doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, but that just means you don't need it. And I would be the first to tell you that, whether or not it's <laughs> offered or not. Uh, Dave Kazarian, what's up, Dave? Uh, with the kid, when, when, uh, when with the kids, are you supposed to hold your luggage until after the rapid test support? Case positive result. No, I was actually surprised by this, Dave. Um, you drop off the luggage like normal. You did the pre-cruise check as normal. Like you come in the building, show them the stuff. But before, and you go through security as normal. But before you actually check into the cruise, you go to uh, do the COVID test. So you are allowed in the building. Robert wants to know, are the beach beds at Coco Key Bay, Breezy Bay uh, behind the floating cabanas? Well, they're behind the floating cabanas if you're from that perspective. Yes, Breezy Bay does have a view of some of the floating cabanas. That is accurate. Yes. Uh, Jeff is a newbie here. Welcome, Jeff. Glad to have you joining us here. My name is Matt. We're hanging out, talking cruising. How long in advance does the can provide boarding information? How far do you recommend arriving to check in at Tampa? Good question. So uh, right now, you can actually figure it out. Uh, you should be able to look at it, Jeff. You open up your Royal Caribbean app on your phone, and you go to your cruise. The section where it would have online check-in, it will say online check-in begins at blank date. So whatever that is, that's your – There's not. it's not standard across the fleet anymore. It used to be, but after COVID, everything's kind of a little different. Anyway, that's when you'll know when you can actually do the online check-in and secure a time. And I would arrive at the check-in time. They do enforce the check-in time, so do not arrive earlier than that. would be my recommendation to you as well. Uh, Josh, I can bring my wife along with you? I would. Then we have these things called kids and a cat. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it gets in all sorts of uh, – you're living the dream, Josh. Living the single bachelor life. Uh, love you. Uh, Friday the 13th, Fiend. Hello, Matt will be on Odyssey in six days getting married on the ship on the first day. Congratulations. Guys, we got a congratulations uh, in chat for uh, Friday the 13th Fiend. That's awesome. Love that. Kevin wants to know, we're sailing on Harmony December 12th. The app currently shows Wind Jamaica is not serving dinner. That's correct. Do you know why this is? Yes, there's not enough people on board for it to be offered dinner, essentially. Essentially, once the capacity gets about 50% or higher, then they reopen the Wind Jammer for dinner. So it's not, it's not, not a weird thing going on. It's actually been the norm uh, since cruising restarted, quite frankly. Uh, Darren wants to know, can you use your CPAS card to pay for souvenirs at Coco Key? You can, yes, you can. Um, Jamie wants to know, when do you book oh, shows for the away for on Oasis? Right now, it's actually through the Royal Caribbean app once you get on board, Jamie. As you're probably aware, you're not able to book it uh, in advance before the cruise via the cruise planner. I think eventually that will come back, but as of right now, you just book it when you get on board the ship via the cruise planner app. Or through the cruise, the app, that's what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, Carlos, what is one must do in Coco Key? I think you got to check out Oasis Lagoon Pool. It's for a lot of fun. I would definitely say that's that's worth your time right there. So, um, Steve said, what? This is hard to understand you live. Normally, I'm listening at two times speed. I think my second time catching you live. Well, uh, usually that's like the opposite complaint. Usually, people complain I talk too quickly. So. <laughs> Let's see what questions we have a lot of questions here guys i'm gonna try my best to get as many as i can al wants to know is chef's table and mariner of the seas good if you're an adventurous eater and you like wine yes it is worth it it's, it's a it is a uh food extravaganza and it's a long marathon of eating but it is really fun actually a very really unique uh opportunity you don't get to do anything uh else like that uh karen davis in tennessee go rocky top 
Uh, I see Becky Mankin from MEI Travel in the house. Becky, hello. Good to see you as always. Mima, hello. Uh, appreciate it. Joining us here. Super Saber, I've been trying to eat healthier lately. That's awesome. Good for you. What are healthy food options on Royal Caribbean like? Well, there's a lot of variety, actually. It's more of a question, I think, Super Saber, of your self-control. Um, and a lot of the menus, especially the main dining room menu, they have little icons to indicate, you know, healthier options for you. Certainly, you can uh, talk to the head waiter about getting certain things made a little more customized to your liking. That would be an option for you as well. Um, but uh, I don't know what ship you're on, quite frankly, Super Saver. But the other great place for if you're trying to eat healthy would be, in my opinion, the Solarium Bistro. They have a lot of like inherently uh, really, really good food that is good for you as well. We've got an epic super chat coming in. Woo, MJ, my friend. Good evening on layover in New York. Looking forward to your next blog on Kids on Cruises coming out tomorrow. Anything stand out on this last cruise surprised you because your kids were with you this time? Uh, the only thing I would say is just that the testing at the terminal stinks. It's just a lot of wasted time. And um, I have a very strong opinion based on this. And I would say, you know, there have been people who are saying, you know, why doesn't Royal Caribbean offer testing at the terminal? I And they are offering it in very, you know, as a backup option. But people, there have been a lot, some people who want to have testing at the terminal. And I'm here to tell you, I love you guys but you're dead wrong. It's a waste of time. Um, it took, assuming there's no problem, it takes 45 minutes for the test to get done. That's 45 minutes. You could be having drinks with Josh Carruthers. You can be making dining reservations with Becky Menken. That's 45 minutes. You can be um, uh, um, um, hanging out with the movie star, Kathy Constantine. I mean, these are things that you, you can't waste your precious vacation time sitting in a luggage area waiting for your, term, for your test. No, get your test done at home. Now the kids, they got no choice, obviously, but that was probably the biggest. I, I knew it would be a bit of a hurdle, but it ended up being more of a hassle than I thought it would be, quite frankly. So, and we have another uh, super chat coming in from Tropical Tom Garcia. Still the best name in here. Every day I wake up and think to myself, why didn't I name myself Tropical Matt? Of course, Tropical Tom, a little better alliteration, but yeah, yeah. Hey, First Sergeant Richard is here. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sean wants to know, with the protocols ending at the end of October, when would they announce the new protocols? I'll tell you. I don't know. <laughs> That's a meme from uh, Fiddler on the Roof. I don't know. Um, honestly, Sean, it is anyone's guess when they may come out. Um, there is no pattern yet as to when the new protocols come out there. So you're not the only one wondering about these things. But one would assume, since we are uh, almost halfway through the month of October, that they've got to be coming out soon. I know that's not very helpful. But honestly, there's... a uh, there, there's not a better answer. Chris and Cunningham with our next question. Can you take a toddler bed rail for the mattress of a one-year-old who still sleeps in a crib? Uh, sure, you could. Um, don't forget, by the way, Royal Caribbean will give you a, uh, for, or provide for you. They're gonna give, you got to give it back to the end of the cruise. But they'll provide for you a pack and play. They call it a crib. It's really a pack and play. Um, and we actually liked it a bit. I remember when my kids were using it. My only tip, Kristen, if that's of, of interest to you, is to get a mattress, um, not a mattress topper, but like a little like something you can pad the bottom. Because as you know, a lot of uh, pack and plays like they're like very hard bottoms. But if your kid, depending on how old your child, even one year old, I don't know, whatever is comfortable, that might be an option. But, but the pack and plays are really good. So if you're looking for that, they will offer that for you. Just ask to have it on your reservation. So that way it'll be ready for you in your room when you get there. You could ask for it on board the ship. But if your kids are anything like mine at one years old, as soon as you get on the ship, you're going to want them to take a nap. And yeah, you got to wait a couple hours for that uh, pack and play to show up. It's no bueno right there. So. Uh, Jeff, you are very welcome. Uh, let's see. Colleen just got up a lure of the seas on Sunday. Great service and ship. That's great to hear. Love hearing that. Rogan wants to know, do you think there'll be any Broadway shows added to Odyssey or Wonder? It's a great question, man. I don't know. I don't know. They've been very, very a little quiet on there. Uh, there's been a lot of people who think that maybe Chicago will be coming, the, the musical, to, uh, to maybe one of those ships, but <clears throat> we'll see. Hey, Jay. Uh, is wine included with the chef's table or is it extra? I believe it is included. I mean, I ate there right before the pandemic began and uh, on Mariner of the Seas. And I am pretty sure it's included because it, it ain't a cheap meal. And you're only getting it by the glass, obviously. So I'm going to go with yes. Yes. A very hesitant but confident yes. Uh, let's see. Okay, Don has our next question for us. We're selling on a lure this is November, our first time selling with Royal Caribbean. Please tell me how many how my time dining works. Can we just show up or do we have to make reservations ahead of time? Either way, it's your choice, Don. You can either, it's just like eating at home, right? 
You can call ahead of the restaurant or you can simply show up. It's your choice. Um, you can make reservations through the Royal Caribbean app, through Cruise Planner app, or you can simply show up and wait. If you have a reservation, you'll be seated first. Um, but it's up to you how you want to do it. That's basically how it's your choice. Uh, Foodie Vacation says, just realized my three night solo cruise that booked during double points is worth 12 points. Woohoo! Husband says, don't tell her stuff like that. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah, Kenny with a great tip right here for everybody. You know, those post cruise surveys are so helpful for the crew members. Take a tip of the name tag of the team member. They want you to remember for the survey. Yeah, because you know what? You might think to yourself, I'll never forget that person's name. And then you're sitting there at home after three days after the cruise. And you're like, what was that bartender's name? So, yeah, it's a great tip right there. Uh, let's see here. Next question is from Chance. Cruising on Harmony in May 22. Well, let me book excursions in Labadee or Falmouth. Another change in ports on the itinerary now. Should I expect that to continue? Possibly. I mean, May 22 is really far away. So number one, you're just too far away to even, honestly, I wouldn't even look at excursions until you get to at least January at the earliest. Um, and they may add them later on. So yes, you're right that they have been removing Labadee and Falmouth from itineraries. I know that for a fact, um, Jamaica is reopening. Uh, I believe in November will be the first sailing back there. I think Carnival's starting there first. But regardless, I think that'll change. But th you're, is, is, this is a red herring is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, it's actually more likely you're just too far out to see excursions, quite frankly. Uh, Garrett wants to know, how can I find out who in the blog will be on Navigator? This is November 29th. So the way it works is, let me uh, let me show you. You go to the Royal Caribbean blog message boards at Royal Caribbean blog. Dot com. Let me uh, share my screen very quickly. This won't take very long, guys. And um, you, uh, oh, let me hide. You go right here, Garrett. You go to roll calls, and then you can just search this forum right there and find your, or just scroll through, rearrange, or whatever you want to do. Uh, that would be the way to do it right over there. We have a super chat coming in. It is from Alex Hernandez. Thank you, Alex, for the super chat. Woo! Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any tips for independence of the seas going in June? It's my cousin's first cruise, and I have been in years. Thanks for all your tips. You're very welcome. Um, I'll, uh, there's so many tips I could give you. I mean, obviously, you may know some of these. Do the online check and do everything you can in the app before the cruise. Take the photo. I know it's weird. Take the photo. Fill out the uh, scan your passports. Do every single thing. Why? Because then when you get to the terminal, it is so much faster. When you get there, Alex, you're going to be so excited for your cruise. You're going to be like, holy moly, I'm ready to get on board that ship. I hear Josh Carruthers in the pub doing shots while we wait. I can't wait to get up there and meet him and my cousin, of course. Uh, the last thing you want to do is be sitting there filling out paperwork. Do everything you can in the app, number one. Number two, um, uh, um, 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 ooh, sail away. Great spot for sail away. It'll be warm in June, but hey, you're on a cruise ship. You're vacation, YOLO. Uh, go to the helipad on the front of the ship. You just go out to the promenade deck, which is on deck five on Independence of the Seas. Walk all the way forward. It's a great vantage point for sail away. They have the sky pad on Independence of the Seas. Check that out as well. And uh, they also have a fabulous playmakers on board. And did you know there's a Broadway show on board? Yeah, Grease, the Broadway musical. Grease is the word. Um, and uh, you can see it on board the uh, lovely um, Independence of the Seas. So those, those are like a couple tips straight off the bat, but there's Many more. Uh, I can do it. Tony Diaz wants to know, can I use my prison photo for the online photo check-in? I think that's fine. I mean, listen, the night, the black and white stripes really give you some good contrast. It works out really, really well. I think it'll be good out of there. Uh, next question is from Kyle. What's something to do to celebrate that's unique other than a dining experience for an anniversary on Harmony? A couple things come to mind. The spa. You could do a couple's massage or something like that. You could pick out or do a private tour on one of the ports you're visiting. Uh, that might be a cool option for you to do as well. Uh, I'm trying to think of something like, I mean, truly splurge on your cabin. That's also something that may be worthwhile to do. Maybe surprise, unless they're watching this. Oops, I just ruined it. But, uh, you know, maybe upgrade your room uh, and don't tell them. And then they show up be like, oh, yeah, we only got you. Remember, you know, that uh, inside room we have. Well, what are you going to do? You know, maybe someday we'll be able to afford it. And then, bam. Uh, next question. How do I find a cheaper price for the drink package? Boy, the 12 or 13 question marks indicate this is a very tough question. Actually, it's really easy. No, here's how you do it. Uh, number one, you book the drink package now. I'm like, Matt, I asked you, 
how to get a cheaper price with the drink package, not how do I pay for the drink package. Go with me on this, okay? You buy the drink package now because you want the drink package. I'm going to assume that. Buy the drink package now. Then you watch the price of it. You check in, you know, once a week, once a month, whatever. Keep checking back when there's a new sale on there. If there's a better price, then you book, you cancel what you, your drink package on the website, and then rebook at the new price. You're good to go. Now, you might say, well, Matt, why don't I just wait to see if there's a, a sale? Booking now protects you against a price increase. if the price goes up. If you follow this method, you will have the lowest price by the time you get to the selling date. That's that's honestly what I do and I think most people do for the best price. Susan Lieberman, thank you for the super chat. Woo! Lots of generous folks here today. Thank you guys so much. Of course, as you know, super chats are not required. I appreciate them certainly, but uh, thank you so much for your generosity. Susan, we're, uh, we've got on all the Oasis class ships. We've been on two of the ships twice. We're talking about Odyssey for next year. Is there much to do on Odyssey as, is there as much to do on Odyssey as the Oasis class ships? Well, uh, that, that's a great question, Susan. And thank you for your super chat. I do appreciate it. Number one, I mean, the Oasis class by definition is not, is going to offer more than, than Odyssey. So I have to, I'm not going to sit here and pretend they're equals in that regard. There's just more space on Oasis class ships. Thus they can fit more in there, right? However, I really do believe Royal Caribbean is giving the Oasis class a run for its money with Odyssey. Odyssey has like every single little trick and, and bit of information, little tweak that they figured out along the way. It is a very compelling option. I don't think you're going to be bored on board. No, no pun intended. Uh, while you're on uh, the Odyssey, it's actually fantastic. And I think you'll like it quite a bit. Uh, Nazi says, my cruise is in a week. Ah, in that situation, Nazi, just book the drink package now. It will be cheaper now than it will be on board the ship. So you're welcome. There you go. It's very, my original advice still holds true. Book the drink package now. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Jen wants to know, do you have to take your refillable cup everywhere with you to the main dining room, especially restaurants? You use the unlimited soda package at dinner. No, uh, the, the cup is just there. Either as a souvenir or if you want to be able to transport your soda with a higher capacity somewhere else. But no. Jen, if you're at a bar or the dining room and you have the soda package, your cup is back up in the room, maybe still in the shrink wrap, no problem. You just say, hey, uh, you know, here's my CPAS card. Can I get a soda? And they give it to you by the by the glass. You're good to go. Uh, Josh wants to know, what is a must-see at Perfect Day at Coco Key? Not Bay. I don't know where Coco Bay is, but uh, I know it's but don't worry about it. Uh, must-see, I like I said earlier, I think the Oasis Lagoon. You can't go wrong with that. Ricardo wants to know, Royal Caribbean departing from San Juan, Puerto Rico this year. Yeah, next month, dude. Explore the seas restarting in November. So there you go. Um, let's see. Ooh, Jose is going on Anthem. Wants to get hot wings, but there's no playmakers. Well, where would you get? I, oh, boy. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I could be wrong on this, but somebody correct me in chat if I am. Uh, the, um, room service menu has, has wings. I can't say how good they are. They're not terrible. Or is that, yeah, I think there are chicken wings on the menu, right? Buffalo wings, something like that. I'm pretty sure there is on room service menu. Uh, main dining room have your only other option, quite frankly. So, yeah, sorry. Maybe you have to find a Hooters in one of the ports you're visiting. <laughs> um, uh, Joe wants to know, can you upgrade your room on the ship or only through roll up? Both are an option, Joe. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Upgrades on board the ship are rare. Um, they just don't. Back in the day, that would be a thing. If we did this live broadcast, what year is it? Uh, 15, 20 years ago, um, we'd all be on dial-up modems, and we'd be like, wow, that pixelated Brad Pitt guy really looked. No. Anyway, um, you'd be able to 15, 20 years ago, I would say you could either talk to the peer coordinator. That was a person at the terminal or tech with guest services, because back then there was a lot more availability. Uh, fast forward today, even with COVID, there's not a ton of options for you to do that. You certainly could ask, there's no harm in asking, but in truth, it is very much not the norm. So um, there is one more way you can upgrade your room besides rail up or through the ship. And that is you call your wonderful MEI travel agent and you say, hey, Rich O, um, you know, that Star Cruiser thing looks super expensive. I'm going to use that money instead. I want to upgrade my room. And you might find a much better price with that. So there you go. Uh, our next super chatter coming in here to the Teresa McChain. The Teresa McChain, ladies and gentlemen, dropping a super chat. Uh, thank you, Teresa. Appreciate it. 
I'm missing your beautiful co-host tonight. Um, my, beautiful, the, my kids are wiped out right now. They are like, we, we woke up, we went to bed late last night, we woke up early tonight, um, early this morning. Uh, they had school. They're, uh, yeah. But uh, I do appreciate it. We had a lot of fun last night. My oldest daughter was with me. and We had a great time um, uh, doing that. It was a lot of fun. And thank you guys for all your support last week, you know, being nice and asking her some questions about that. So I appreciate that. Uh, Brett is a regular NCL cruiser. That's okay. No one's perfect. But I'm thinking of Odyssey of the Seas cruise next month because it fits my calendar. Any tips for a first-time Royal Caribbean client? Great question. So um, here's what I... Boy, this is a great question. What, because I'm trying to think of like... I'm not trying to think of like... You're not a first-time cruiser. You know the basics. It's just, you know, what makes this a little bit different. Um, I said this earlier, Brett. It still applies. I don't know how NCL does this. But do your online check-in. Get the, Download the Royal Caribbean app before the cruise. Do every single option. It will save you so much time in the terminal. If you do that, the check-in process is significantly easier. Uh, number two, buying things before the cruise is generally cheaper um, than on board the ship, especially for drink packages, especially dining, even the spa in some cases can be cheaper if you pre-book. I don't know how that is on NCL, but something to keep in mind as well. Um, I'm trying to think, Brett, if there's any like other inherent, like, ooh, Royal does it this way versus ncl um you know ncl and i'm generalizing here obviously tends to when they when you're going to book the cruise they will generally say you know oh we're gonna give you all these free things but they really don't touch the cruise fare per se royal tends to do the opposite royal tends to discount the cruise fare and then but none of those things are included with with your cruise fare so you get the, the add-ons as you see fit so it's a great question actually and anyone in the chat has any um suggestions uh for someone coming from ncl to royal i would love to hear them as well uh, MP, there is hot wings in the room service menus. I, I am not mistaken. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, are handheld steam irons allowed? No, they're not. They will confiscate it from you. Do not waste your time bringing it. Do yourself a favor. Is there a Playmakers on Navigator disease? There is, yes. Susan Westfall with the super chat. Thank you, Susan. Just saying hi. Hi, Susan. Good to see you. Welcome. Appreciate it uh nick wants to know do they not offer cruises from dubai anymore no uh, a couple of years ago there were some issues in iran and basically i think a lot of the persian gulf stuff has kind of soured the the appetite for middle east cruises quite frankly so you can blame it on there uh nicholas price thank you for the super chat buddy i appreciate you hey matt new to the channel I'd like to know if royal Caribbean would be a good fit for my family with five kids all five being five and under oh my goodness first of all not my condolences but my my heart goes out to you five kids under five um <laughs> how do you <laughs> do you sleep for three hours a day okay anyway welcome nicholas it's good to see you here thank you for your generosity so yes royal would be a fantastic choice because when they've got an excellent kids program and when it's time for adventure ocean you will take all five of them and you'll and then if you're you know you'll take like a piece of cheese and be like hey kids over here, it's roundup time. And throw the cheese in Adventure Ocean. And all five of them come running out in there. And you shove the door behind you. That's not how it works. But it would be, in all seriousness, it would be a great choice for you. Lots of kids programming. Lots for the kids to do on board. I, I've taken my kids since they were as young as six months old. Royal Caribbean is a vastly underrated family cruise line. Um, there's another line that Rich O wants me to go spend my money on uh, that gets way more attention for it. And I think it's totally overrated over there. Much better here at Royal Caribbean. So, yes, I think it's a fantastic fit. I would recommend, Nicholas, you um, you take, uh, what's it called? Um, gosh, uh, you book a, an Oasis class or a Quantum class ship. So that way they have a lot of features for the kids to do on board. That'd be a re my, my only uh, advice for them. So, Tom Young wants to know, how do they uh, determine who sits at the captain's table in the main dining room? So before, I, I know what you're all wondering, what the heck is the captain's table? In the main dining room, there is a table usually right in the center of the room. It's kind of, it's it's decorated a little bit differently. It's the captain's table. It's kind of an old tradition of cruising where the captain would come for dinner and he would sit with some random guests. And you would say, well, how do I get to be one of those people? I have no idea. Uh, randomly, I, I sometimes loyalty ambassador selects people. Sometimes the hotel director. It's, yeah, I, I wish I had a better answer, but there's no rhyme or reason I figured out. Brogan, thank you. Uh, enjoyed the podcast with Emma. You should try and convince her to do a cruise with Royal Caribbean more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, I think I have to grease the wheels of progress over there. Well, we'll make that happen. I, I'm trust me. Every time I talk to Emma, hey Emma, how are you? By the way, can you please book a Royal Caribbean cruise? Thank you. Hope it all is well. 
<laughs> Harvey, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Uh, no men, no comment here. Oh, three kids under five. Okay, so with not not five kids under five, three kids under five. So that means you get five hours of sleep a night instead of three. Again, not condolences, but my heart goes out to you, my friend. I don't know how you do it. Three is still a lot. Luke, how much alcohol can you bring on board? Zip zero nada. You can bring two bottles of wine per stateroom on board, but you cannot bring beer, wine, or sorry, beer or liquor. You can bring wine on board. I just said that. And by the way, champagne counts because champagne is sparkling wine, so you're good to go right there. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Betty says he needs a super chat for five under five. Yeah, if he had five kids under five years old, I think I would be giving him a super chat for that. My goodness, he needs a babysitter. Uh, slow runner during COVID limited capacity cruising. Am I more likely to get an upgrade program if I let Rogram pick my room? Um, I don't know if it's more likely. That's a great question. Um, I would say no, not necessarily. I certainly don't want to give you the wrong impression by that. So, yeah. Uh, Stacy, how are you, Stacy? When using the app on board, will it show you where you are on the ship and how to get to your cabin? I think my mom always gets lost. Ah, mom, where are you? How'd you get there? All right, I'm bringing bail and money. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Um, yes, actually, in the Royal Caribbean app, I wish I could show it to you. If you swipe to the left, yeah, you'll get a map and you can. Um, it'll show you certain things you can map it. They have deck plans on there. That'll probably help your mom out a little bit. Actually, the other thing, Stacy, tell your mom this: in every um, elevator lobby, every uh, area, there's a there's an interactive screen, and in that screen, it shows you like the time and the temperature. But you can actually click on it and say, "Tell it how do I." It'll give you like a Google map, like how do I get to the theater? How do I get to my cabin? And it will draw a map, literally. Now, granted. Your mom has to remember what that is, but um, it's not quite Google Maps, but it's better than nothing, certainly. So, yeah. Um, Mima says, my kids are 40 and 38. They still talk about being taken care of on Royal Caribbean. Uh, my, one of my very good friends, Sarah Hiller, uh, has cruised her entire life with Royal Caribbean. She's a product of the system, and she is not quite as old as your ch- as your children, but she fondly remembers uh growing up with with you know going to adventure ocean and whatnot so yeah ash wants to know do you know what kinds of activities they offer in the teens club i do know that they offer uh it depends on the ship it depends on the sailing in a lot of cases uh, but they offer t- i can tell you one thing at the very least they have teen only events like teen only uh, flow rider they do prom night which my oldest daughter is like petrified of because she's only 10 so she's like you know it's that that concept is a little like bridge too far for her um they do they do a lot of actually cool things if for the teens it's less structured because being teenagers they don't want to be told what to do they just want to have options of what to do so yeah uh we have a super chat coming in from keith purvis texas firefighter thank you keith for your generosity Woo! appreciate it buddy was at my channel three weeks ago great place and great people will be back there again next week dude i love me some maya chan maya chan is a uh beach excursion you can do in Costa Maya. It is not the Royal Caribbean. You have to book it on your own, but it's run by a number of American expats, a family of expats who moved to Mexico, started up a beach resort where you buy a day pass to go there. And they were like, how do we make this be really awesome? And they, and basically they have the best darn service I have seen at any beach pass excursion you want to look at. And I absolutely love what they've done there, Keith. I was just there as well a couple of weeks ago when I was on Odyssey of the Seas. And I loved my time there. I had a great time. Shout out to Leonardo, who definitely knows when my drink gets about three quarters empty and is already standing by with a with the refill. We do appreciate that. So how long after taking my cruise, the new point show up in the crew, crown and anchor account? Um to like a week or two. Depends on the depends on a variety of factors. A week or two. That's basically it. Uh holy Holy! Woo! Your cousin from Boston. That's not the right one. But anyway, uh, thank you for your generosity, MDRNs. Holy moly. Uh, is there a specific hotel to book for the Harmony Group Cruise November 21st? I'm looking forward to my first group cruise. Can't wait. Jeez, Louise. Thank you for your generosity. Appreciate that. Um, I think uh, I think the answer is no. I think certainly your MEI travel agents can recommend something. The problem, and, and Becky Menken is in chat right now, 
Uh, slap my goldfish super chat, Tony. That is right. That is slap your grandma. Is that good of a super chat? Uh, not that you should slap your grandma. I, uh, Becky, I, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong here on this one. I believe, long story short, the hotels were kind of a little leery with everything with COVID and whatnot. Of they, get, your MAI travel agents can make a recommendation of where to stay, but I don't think there's a particular. We've not identified a specific hotel for everybody to stay at. Um, I'm certainly not aware of one. And if we did, uh, then I blame uh, I blame Josh Carruthers because um, uh, he might have given me a few drinks on Odyssey and I forgot everything that happened before then. Uh, but. <laughs> Uh, not that we don't have an official one quite yet. Um, I, for, for hotels, my recommendation in general is when you're looking for a hotel before the cruise, um, number one, don't book anything. Um, what's it called? Don't book anything, um, non-refundable unless it is like a steal of a deal. Just book refundable. Keep an eye on it. Hotel prices change like daily. So yeah, keep an eye on it. You never know what may happen there. So, but thank you, MDR. And I can't wait to go on that cruise as well. So excited for that one. We've got the, um, we've got the uh, Royal Caribbean blog group cruise over Thanksgiving. Um, it'll be our first Royal Caribbean blog group cruise since the pandemic. Can't wait. It's going to be like a homecoming. It really is going to be amazing. So, so many friends again. And uh, yeah. Oh, Mima, you got to be at the chef's table once. What did you do? How did, how did that work? Do you know how you got chosen for that one? Kevin B wants to know, is the beach club at Coca-Cola worth it? Or can you get chairs at other beaches since less people? Uh, yeah, um, it's not about that per se. Uh, Kevin, I think, in my opinion, the appeal of the beach club is, the Cocoa Beach Club, is number one, under $100 a person. Number two is somewhere, the, the, the food is really good. The, 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 the food included with the Cocoa Beach Club is fantastic, actually, especially restaurant level. But really, I think uh, number one, the reason you want to book there Kevin would be because you value being in a exclusive area. If that's important to you. That's a good spot for you, but um, you can definitely get plenty of seating and umbrellas and all that other stuff. Plenty of other places on the, on the aisle. And that's not the issue here. You're booking the Cocoa Beach Club. You want that elevated experience, quite frankly. So, uh, by the way, can one of our moderators ban Tony Diaz? We, we don't, we don't have uh, negative New York talk in here. Tom Taylor. Thank you for the uh, super chat, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Poor Josh, he gets blamed for everything. Well, he started it. He knows what he knows what he did. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Becky, there, and thank you for you know, group contracts. We're not a great option for the November group cruise, but we have been booking many at the country in and suites. Thank you. See, there you go. You know what I do? I uh, it's like, do you guys ever remember um the movie Spies Like Us with uh, Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd, and they're performing surgery. They're not they're not doctors. They're pretending to be doctors, and they're about to perform surgery. And they have no idea what they're doing, so they hide a book underneath the operating desk uh, table, and they're like, and they have a bunch of other doctors and nurses in the room, and they're like, for our first uh, step, we will, and then they scurry under the door, under the desk, read the first step in like medical one hundred and one book, and then come back up the incision, like, and that's me with MEI travel. Ah, the answer to your question is, what's the answer, Becky? Uh huh. Uh huh. The answer to your question is we don't have a hotel yet. <laughs> so there you go. Um, ooh, Eric Swart checking in from a poor man's aqua theater suite on Oasis. That would be a traditional boardwalk balcony, I believe. The walk ain't that bad. I disagree, but I'm glad you're having a good time. Floating Cabana in two days. Nice. Love that. Um, Arturo wants to know, what if you show up before or after your dining time? Well, if you're a couple minutes late, that's okay. I mean, are we talking my time or traditional? Because if it's traditional, there's a little bit of a leeway, but at some point you're late and you missed it. For my time, you may just have to wait, you know, to get the next available table, quite frankly. But. Uh, hey, Mike Pastore, what's going on, man? Will there be a meetup the night before the group cruise? I think so. I think so. I mean, we'll be there. So plan on it. Yes. I'm saying now there will be a meetup. I... And my wife will kill me for this. And she's saying, you're driving to Pork and Avril by yourself. And then I'm going to come back and get us the next day. But yes, maybe. Pretty sure. I think. <laughs> um, ooh, Anu wants to know, do you know any places I could definitely get an outlet like to do work on my Anthem cruise in one of the venues? I know what you're asking now. You want an electric outlet to plug into in a public space. I do not have any good recommendations, Anu. Um... I would say there's a couple two ideas come to mind. Number one, obviously, charge your laptop before you start. 
Number two, there are actually a, a, some really good batteries that you can plug your laptop into. They're travel like portable batteries. Um, and they, yes, can power laptops for quite a bit. Um, I believe Anchor, A-N-K-E-R, makes one or eight. And they're very big on that. I mean, an option. But outlets in public areas are very much don't exist. Um, and when they do exist, they're that European outlet they use for like, um, they use for, uh, you know, the vacuum cleaners and whatnot. Um, I cannot think of one on, on Anthem. You know, on some of the newer ships and some of the revitalized ships, some of the bars actually have USB plugs and that might help you, but traditional American, the three prong thing, I don't know, it was 120 volts, whatever it is, 220, whatever we use here in the States. Um, yeah, those are, those are pretty hard to come by quite frankly. So, uh, decab, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Easy button. Great name. Uh, I heard when Jim Air's open and employees are serving you. That is correct. That is accurate. Uh, Arturo wants to know, is specialty dining a la carte or one price? Uh, both depends on the restaurant. Most are one price. There are a couple that are a la carte. So like Izumi is a la carte. Uh, Portside Barbecue is a la carte. Playmakers is a la carte. But Chops Grill, Giovanni's Table, um, uh, Izumi Hibachi, you know, the, the Hooked, those are all one price. So it depends on the restaurant. Uh, decab one. Oh, this was the super chat. I think. Are you going to cruise anytime on Europe on Royal Caribbean going next year in May on alert? Uh, I am not actually, uh, we don't, we, we had a European cruise booked for last year that got canceled, obviously. And I do not have any plans for next year to go to Europe. I don't think I will be going, but weirder things have happened. I suppose we're actually going to Alaska next year, decab. So I think that's like our big fly across the country kind of a uh, plan, but no, I don't have any plans currently. But, and by the way, if you're going on, uh, on Allure, by the way, you're not going to Allure. I don't know if anyone told you, but you've probably been changed to Wonder of the Seas. What well, Allure was supposed to uh, be sailing in Europe next year, but Wonder took over for that. So, surprise, you're probably on Wonder of the Seas, which is actually an upgrade for you. Um, how is the internet on Mariner of the Seas? I got to be honest with you, Sarah, it's pretty bad. Um, it's it's not great. It's slow. I mean, it's fine. If you want to check Facebook, if you want to send a message to somebody, it's fine. But if you want to do this live video, you can forget about that. But it's fine for most things. You know, I, it's slow. And compared to other Royal Caribbean ships, it's painfully slow. But for common things, checking email, social media, it's fine. But don't expect to really stream like, you know, your favorite TV show or sports game or something like that. That, I think, despite what they may tell you, is just not practical. Favorite free a uh, favorite food to eat on the cruise? Ooh, boy, I mean that's a loaded question, man. That's like you know, what's your favorite food in New York City? Uh, well, it's pizza, but um, <laughs> but you know, there's a lot of choices there. You know what? My still my my all time favorite, and I'm gonna go with it is the Indian food on Royal Caribbean. The Indian curries are amazing. They're complimentary. They're available in the main dining room and the wind jammer, and they are really really good. And I get them always once a cruise. So, yep. Hey, Void Princess is here. Uh, any word on Labadee, Haiti, or Falmouth, Jamaica will be open to visit again. I know that Jamaica is reopening in November. We talked about this a little earlier. No worries. Um, but Falmouth and, or sorry, but Labadee, no clue. Um, it's anyone's guess at this point. Because obviously, as you know, they've been canceling. Um, they haven't really, to be, Royal Caribbean has not officially ever said anything. They've just been alluding to some issues Haiti is facing. Um, but beyond that, yeah, don't know. Christy Murphy has a question for us. First time I chose my time down here. It's only to schedule or can I walk in when I'm ready? Either one, either choice. Either way works. If you just walk up, you may have to wait a little bit longer if there's a line uh, versus when you have a reservation, you're seated first with priority, but you can do either one. Either one is totally fine with you. And of course, you know, Christy, you can make a reservation that day. You don't have to make it six months in advance. You could, you know, be in the morning and be at 10 o'clock. Like, hey, let's have dinner at six tonight. All right, sounds good. And then you go on the app and book something like that. That's also an option for you. Uh, David wants to know, do I know if cruises confidence applies to all fares? I have not refundable deposit fare. Yes, that still applies. Yeah. So, um, if you canceled your cruise under cruises confidence, you would get 100% future cruise credit, no penalty. You don't lose your deposit. That's okay with cruises confidence. So yeah, you are good to go. Uh, Randy, I, let me scroll on. Randy's question is a good one. And, and I want it. I feel very strongly about this. And where are you, Randy? Randy wants to know, boy, I'm really over in the chat. My goodness. 
Um, Tom Taylor, thank you for subscribing, buddy. Appreciate it. So, uh, Tom, uh, Randy says, with the high alert COVID warnings for the Caribbean, is Roker been changing itineraries? No. Um, I think, quite frankly, you're doing yourself a favor by going to the Caribbean because there is no worse, well, there might be a worse place, but the United States is like a huge hotbed of it. You're probably better off going to the Caribbean. No, they're not. Um, the cruise ships are very safe. They have good protocols in place. They have that bubble approach to it. So they are not. And I would, again, I argue, and I, I say this almost laughingly, but it's the truth. It's worse here in the U.S. than it is in a lot of these other countries. So, <laughs> Wu-Tang Life. What's up, ma'am? Uh, the key has things replaced. Can you talk about that? What is free on the room service dining? Do you have a menu on your website? Good questions. So, I posted about this uh, on Friday. I posted about it actually before then, but it's now fleet-wide. Um, they are making some changes to the key. And there are things like, instead of doing the uh, welcome aboard meal, now you get room service included. Um, there is rooms. There is a room service menu somewhere on the Royal Caribbean blog website. In fact, if you go to the message boards, it's where I would I would start Wu Tang Life. Um, but if you don't have that, here's what I'm gonna tell you. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't think it's worth it with the key, especially with these changes. I love room service versus the next guy. I think it's one of those ideas that always sounds really cool, and then you get on board the ship, you never use it. Um, that's me. Maybe some people love and use room service all the time, but personally. Mm, I, 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 yeah. Anyway, I, I, I think it's not, I don't think it's worthwhile um, unless it's one of those prices where like the cost of the internet is like, and versus the key is like a dollar less than, okay, well you may as well, what do you have to lose at that point? But um, if you don't have the key, the room service menu costs money. It's seven ninety five per order. Um, you can order as much as you want per order. Um, with the exception being for breakfast, there is a continental breakfast option that is included as well. So, but we have menus at royalcreamblog.com. So, ooh, best place on Harmony to propose. Uh, a couple places come to mind. On the back of the ship, um, if you go on the jogging deck, there is on the back of the ship some chairs. You can sit up to watch the wake. It's kind of pretty. It's kind of secluded. Other than the occasional runner going by, you'll, which is not that common. That would be a good spot for it. You could go to one of the bridge wings which is in the front of the solarium and they overlook the side of the ship. It's really a nice spot. That might be a good spot for it as well. Um, I'm trying to think of quiet places. Maybe you're like the kind of person who wants to propose and at a baseball game on the Titan Tron. <laughs> More power to you, I guess. Um, uh, those would be two that really come to my mind in terms of, you know, you could do it at especially a restaurant, I suppose, but uh, that would be my recommendations, quite frankly. So. Um, Stephanie wants to know, has the deadline for double points been extended? No, it, it's over. You missed the boat on that one. So it ended at the end of September. They did not extend it. Nathan, with the new healthy protocols of having a PCR antigen test two days before sailing for vaccinated, you test positive two days before sailing. Can you get a full refund or credit? Either way, um, if, if you get a, if you test positive, Nathan, um, at any point, 14 days before your cruise, you have the choice of a full refund. They can rebook you, you get a credit. It's your choice. So they do offer that for you. Hello, AJ from Virginia Beach. Welcome. Jeff on Mariner. Why do you like Izumi better than Chops? Um, the Chops menu is, well, number one, I like sushi better than I like steak. Number two, the Chops menu has been the same forever. Uh, number three, I don't eat red meat anymore. But even when I did eat red meat, I still prefer sushi. I just, I like sushi better. That's what it really comes down to. And then not only that, forget sushi for a second. Hello, the hibachi experience is way tastier. You get all the vegetables and the rice and the flipping and the eggs and the volcano. And it's a way more fun experience. And they have sushi. Way more fun. Yeah, no, I prefer Zumi in a heartbeat. Love it. YNB Fight. Is it better to book a cruise on either cruise website or use Expedia? Don't use Expedia. God, do yourself a favor. Do not use them. And don't book it through Royal Caribbean. Instead, what you want to do is use a good travel agent. Um, Yes, travel agents are a thing, and they can really help you out with, with cruising. Um, a good travel agent, I, re I recommend and personally use MEI Travel. Full disclosure, MEI Travel is a sponsor of RoyalCreamBlog.com, but I've been using them even before they were a sponsor. I still use them. They're very good. Um, Expedia has a terrible reputation for customer service, and booking through a website puts too much of the onus on you, YNB, like through Royal Caribbean. Use a good travel agent. You will thank me later. Trust me when I say that. Luke, are vaccines still required? Yes. If you're above the age of 12, the answer is yes. 
Uh, Megan Brown wants to know, do the shorter crews, like five nighters, offer the unlimited dining package or are those only on seven nighters? No, they offer it even on, even on three nighters, you can get the unlimited dining package. Yeah, no worries at all. Uh, Patricia, can you spend the day in Miami in the middle of a back-to-back? Sure, yeah. Um, doesn't matter. You would just come back in afterwards and check in for your crews like you would. The other way, I mean, one thing you could do actually, Patricia, what you should do is do the back-to-back process and then get off the ship. And then you'd have the day and then be able to come back at a certain time. And then you'd already be checked in. So you could just show your, I already have my seat pass. I'm already here. I'm just back to back cruiser. And you go through, you still have to go through security again, but yeah, you could absolutely do that. Need a drink of water here. We catch up. Brenna, I agree hundred percent on that. Absolutely. Uh, Ronnie wants to know. Do they clean your room daily on Oasis or is it different now to COVID? No, same thing as before. Um, they wear a mask, obviously, but um, no, they act two times a day. They they clean your room. So yeah, no change in that regard. Tina wants to know if I don't have a dining package, can I eat at Jamie's for lunch or on vacation day? Sure. If they got if they got a table for you, they'll take your money. No worries at all. Yeah. Uh BG Mom wants to know, is there any chance the mask policy will change for the November, December cruises? Well, the mask policy is mostly a product of the CDC more question for them i personally don't think that would be the case i would be quite shocked if it was beachy mama um i could be wrong on that i don't know more than you do but i believe i don't i don't expect that to be the case not for november december anyway hey bailey first time catching the live show first time cruiser welcome do you have to make final payment before online check-in uh it depends what online check-in is the answer is n- maybe maybe not actually uh, at, right now, in fact, Bailey, if you have a cruise in um, November, December, or January, they push back final payment to 30 days, and you would be able to do the check-in before that. So no, you don't have to. No, it's not a prerequisite for it. Um, you can still access it um, even if you have not made final payment yet. But welcome. Uh, Damien, I hope I'm saying that right. Love your show. Question, is the internet package, the drink package, still prorated by the day? If you don't buy either until midway through your cruise, it's just get, yes, it is. Yeah. Um, just keep in mind, you need to have at least four days in your cruise left in order to book the drink package. So don't wait till like day six of seven. But yeah, if you wanted on a seven night cruise, if you, if you wanted to skip day one and two and then book it on day three, sure, you could do that. No problem at all. All right, so Jennifer recommends proposing on the North Star. Uh, Kevin recommends proposing on the Sweet Deck. Those are good choices as well. Really, really good stuff there. I like that. Uh, Kathy, first time live. Well, we got a lot of first timers here. Love that. Welcome. My name is Matt. I'm from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Glad to have you here joining us as we talk Royal Caribbean. I see uh, Mami and Abba are here. Hello. Um, hi to Bowie. Does Izumi have hibachi? They do not. They do have Izumi sushi, but they don't have hibachi. So, womp womp. Uh, uh, so you don't eat the bo- the bolognese anymore? I didn't say that. Listen, there. everybody has their price. And my price is paid out in spaghetti bolognese. And it was amazing on board the Mariner of the Seas. Really, really good. Um, let's see. Have I taken the sushi main class? I did. I did on Brilliant Sensei a number of years ago. It was a lot of fun. I thought it'd be like, I'm not sure what to expect here. Who knows what what it would be? But actually, it ended up being really, really nice. Um, it was a lot of fun. It's more than just a. First of all, it's a meal, and it was a lot of fun. I thought it'd be like, I don't care. Just let me get the sushi. But I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. So yeah. Uh, my cutie wants to know. Is it really cheaper to book a cruise on your current cruise? It is not cheaper, actually. What? Yeah, I know. It's not. It's the same price. If you book a cruise on board the ship or at home, the difference is by booking on board my cutie koala, you get a you get onboard credit. So they're going to give you bonus money for booking on board. The price is still the same, but you get that extra onboard credit. That's the difference right there. And when it comes to booking on board, I tell people all the time, you know, if if you're if you're if you're sitting on the cruise ship. You think to yourself, man, this is so much fun. We should book another cruise right now. Yeah, go to next cruise and book it. It's wonderful. You get free money for it. But if you're sitting at home right now, if you're sitting in a, a hotel outside of Las Vegas near the airport with your dog, and you're thinking to yourself, boy, it'd be great to go on a cruise with my only son and their family. Well, you could do that, but you should call your travel agent to do that. Don't wait to get on board a ship and then book a cruise. Not that I'm advocating a specific scenario by any means. Tony Diaz with the super chat. Thank you, buddy. Why isn't the C-Flex doghouse mentioned as much as chops? You love a uh, serious question. Do you love the doghouse? I mean, I like a hot dog as much as the next guy. I don't hate it. I don't love it. And it's just like one of those, like, eh, you know, if I was walking past it and I was kind of hungry and if you like walking somewhere else, 
I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, what do you guys think in chat? Doghouse, yay or nay? Type yay or nay in chat. Like, I mean, when I say yay, you're saying like, this is a must eat place as opposed to a passing fancy, as it were. But thank you, Tony, for the super chat. I appreciate you, even though you are a turncoat New Yorker. But you know what? Nonetheless, there's still love for thy neighbor. That's all I got to say. Uh, Teresa, yes, that is correct. So uh, if you book a cruise now, you do not qualify for double points. If you booked a cruise before the double point offer ended, then you still get the double points. Does that make sense? So I didn't want to give anybody. Uh... All right, we got uh, some yays, some nays. Robert Jaworski, not really, Mike. All right, so <laughs> like everything in life, about 50-50. So, all right, well, Tony, you're not the only one. That makes you feel any better, but you're not. it's not a resounding success either. Yay for a snack, Tina says. So, yeah, Jay says, eh, meh, it's something I, something I want to like, but it's meh. Like, it's just, if I'm walking by and I'm hungry, I'm like, you know what? A dog and kraut and mustard sounds great right now. Then I would do that. But uh, I'm not like, Adam, like, you know what, kids? We got to eat a doghouse. Like, I talked about that with other restaurants, complimentary as well, but yeah, not the dog. Like, I don't love it. I don't hate it. So, hey, Paragon, going on a cruise. First cruise, Quantum of the Seas, September 22 to Alaska. Any good highlights on Quantum? I shouldn't miss. North Star, uh, I would, all the shows in 270 are really good. 270, spent a lot of time back there. It's really, really nice. Really, really good stuff there, so. Uh, we got a super chat coming in from AJ. Thank you, AJ, for the super chat. Celebrating 18 years of the Navy on Wonder of the Season inaugural cruise. First time cruising. Congratulations. Thank you for your service. I appreciate it so that you can defend our country so nerds like me can instead talk Royal Caribbean and not have to do the, the hard work that you do. So I appreciate what you do. And uh, Wonder of the Season inaugural sounds amazing. That is lovely right there. Really, really good. Uh, Twangster says, uh, meh, okay, not gonna knock off, not gonna knock off grandma's socks, right? Yeah. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, I'm not a doghouse hater. Uh, I'm just not like a, I'm not like Tony Diaz, I guess, I don't look forward to it all that much, so. <laughs> Nothing like a dirty water dog, now that, I, that would be a must eat. If they actually had a dirty water dog cart, I would eat there every time. There's something about those, oh man, I could go for one right now, Tony. You know what? Even as a turncoat New Yorker, you could probably go get one right now. You hop on that, uh, you hop on the LI double R, go into the city, grab a hot dog, head on back. That I think that's worth the, the train fare, quite frankly. If you don't know what a dirty water dog is, it's the colloquial name, collo colloquial name for hot dogs in New York City. So you know, like in New York City, the stereotypical hot dog cart. Yeah, well, the 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 reason why they're called dirty water dogs is because that water is not really like they don't empty the water. They they cook a batch of hot dogs, they finish the hot dogs, they throw another batch in there, but they're not emptying the water in between. Hence the name dirty water dogs. Yeah, it sounds gross, but it like I mean, you ever seen how they make food in your Chinese restaurant? Don't think about it. Just eat it. It's good. Love it. Uh Lisa wants to know, do does only one person get the crown and anchor points for a cruise or do the people in the room get their own points? Everybody on the cruise gets their points. So, uh, Lisa, if you have eight people in your room, which would be quite, an, quite a feat, eight people get the points. Yep. It's not divvied up. Everybody gets their own points. It's, it's kind of like uh, going on an airplane. You know, if, you, if you're on the flight, you get the frequent flyer miles. Same basic idea. Have you ever done a cruise out of Port Canaveral? Uh, about 12 hours ago. Yeah, I was on Meredith Season Festival. I've done a lot of cruises out of Port Canaveral. And I recommend for spending the night before the port. Um, you know, the, the country in and suites is one that I know that our friends at MEI travel recommend. They, there's not great hotels in Cocoa beach. They're fine. Um, I would actually recommend crystal. If you're flying in and you're coming like you're flying to Orlando, stay in Orlando. There's much better hotels in Orlando and the drive over is only about 45 minutes away. So it's actually not too bad. So that's what I recommend. Hey, David Grossi. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, there it is. Thank you, David, for your generosity. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Terry Cadwaller, what's going on? Welcome. Uh, Dara, so I, I want to give a shout out to Dealt, who I, up until last week, I thought was, I assumed, and you should never assume, but I thought it, Dealt was a guy because it doesn't sound like a girly name. And now I know that it is a woman uh, because you, sent, you posted on the message boards. And I forget if your name is Dara or Darcy or something like that. Anyway, uh, it's good to see you again. But I, 
I saw the message that you posted. I was like, oh, that's not a guy. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I assumed you should never assume with someone's gender just based on their username. So, uh, Slow Runner, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. T Higgs, I would love to be questions here. Uh, is the first cruise on Wonder Disney the inaugural cruise? It's not advertised as so. So, the answer is uh, we don't know. I'm um, also, you guys want to listen, we're about an hour into the broadcast here. I'm going to drop a truth bomb on you. You ready for this one? You ready? Sitting down, if you're driving, pull over to the side of the road. There's no such thing as inaugural cruises. I said it. What I mean is, yeah, there's so many cruises that happen, it's hard to know which one is actually the inaugural. Like, I mean, yes, there's the fish, the first revenue sailing with passengers, which maybe will be the March 4th sailing. Maybe they'll be they'll add one before then. They've done that in the past. Um, do you count if there's a media cruise before that? Do you count that as the inaugural? What about a sailing with just employees on there? And then even then, you've got the inaugural season. They have the inaugural cruise in different regions. But uh, basically, the March 4th sailing is the first revenue sailing we're aware of at this point, T. Higgs, as it relates to um, a, uh, what's it called? A um, word. A mating cruise, inaugural cruise. So, <sighs> uh, Best hotel pre-cruise in Fort Lauderdale. I would recommend uh, by far the uh, Hyatt. I just stayed there. Hyatt-centric Los Olas Boulevard was fantastic. Jen, there's a full review of it at royalcaribbeanblog.com. Yeah, there you go, Becky. You nailed it right there. Like, <laughs> the the naming ceremony selling, the first revenue selling, preview sailings, media cruises, shakedowns. It's, it's, it's like a... I, I know what people mean by inaugural, but there's like so many that it's hard to really know which one is which. Uh, you say you know, Airbnbs are great choices as well, Wu Tang. You know, and in fact, it's, it's always good to remember. I have to remind myself of that as well. That in today's world, you shouldn't limit yourself to what you, hotels you can find. Airbnb, Verbo, those are great choices as well. So, yep. Uh, AJ's calling an inaugural because he's on board. There you go. That's all you need right there. All right, guys. We've been live for over an hour right now. Eric, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on YouTube. Uh, we'll be live again next Monday, as we are every Monday, uh, hanging out, talking real Caribbean. Danny DiMatteo coming in with a last-minute super chat. Woo! Thank you, Danny. Thank you. You didn't, you didn't do it right, Danny. You're supposed to say thank you, and then I say thank you, Danny. But thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Um, tomorrow, we'll have a new uh, YouTube video out for you guys as well. Um, we also want to uh, say some thank yous once again to our super chatters tonight. Because as I mentioned, the super chatters are not super chats are not required, but I certainly appreciate them. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to give a special shout out to all our super chatters tonight. Danny DiMatteo, thank you again. Slow Runner, thank you. David Grossi, thank you. AJ, thank you. Tony Diaz, even though you know, thank you, Tony. Uh, Decap, thank you. Tom Taylor, thank you. MDRNs, thank you so much. Kathy Purvis, Texas Firefighter, thank you. Harry Carrero, thank you for the super chat. Nicholas Price, thank you for the super chat. Susan Westfall, thank you for the super chat. The Teresa McShane, thank you for the su super chat. Susan Lieberman, thank you for the super chat. Alex Hernandez. Thank you for the super chat. Tropical Tom Garcia. Thank you for the super chat. MJ. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, my friends say, why are you on the East Coast, MJ? That sounds weird. You're always on the West Coast. Uh, Brian Booth. Thank you for the super chat. Josh Carruthers. Thank you for the super chat. And Betty uh, Eakin starting us off with a super chat. And we got another one coming in last minute. Sue Lee. Have a good evening. Sue, thank you for your generosity. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll be live again next Monday right here on YouTube. Until then, have a great week, everybody. Stay safe out there. Do something fun. That's important as well. And we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Bye, everybody.